Welcome to tying Michigan's best trout flies. Today we're going to do a pattern that gives a nod to a well-known grayling angler by the name of uh, Rusty Gates. Rusty passed on a few years ago, but he's left behind a legacy of fly fishing and uh, fly tying. Uh, the pattern I'm doing today bears his name. is called the Rusty's Spinner. So let's get started. To tie uh, the Rusty Spinner, uh, this one here would be used maybe for an Isonychia spinner fall. I'm doing it in a size 10 just for demo purposes. You can tie this fly 10 on down to 16 or even 18, uh, all the way from ISOs all the way through to the little mahoganies. But I chose a size 10. So the first thing we're going to do is put our thread on. And I'm using uh, Tobacco Brown thread. It's a Danville product. If you if you are, are thinking about buying it, uh, this color, tobacco brown, is number 47 on their color chart. So we're going to put the, uh, the, uh, the thread on here, and I'm going to attach the, the uh, spent wings first. And that's uh, going to be just some grizzly hen tips. I'm going to select two, uh, fairly well matched as I can get them. And... Uh, I use the Clarence Roberts method of putting on the the hen uh, tips for the spinners. Just even those up as best you can. Lay them right on top of each other, and they go right on top of the shank of the hook like this. And. Uh, we're going to leave those right there just for a minute and put the tail on. The tail is made of a few fibers of uh, either moose mane or moose body here. I've got some moose body hair here. And I'll try to pick out the lighter ones and just leave a few of the darker ones. Now, it's a spinner pattern, so you're going to want this longer than maybe one and a half times the length of the shank of the hook. So we can measure it uh, like that, and cut that off, and put that in place here. Now the body on this fly, Rusty used a uh, dark brown dyed deer hair like this. And it's tied, uh, the body's tied in the, the same way that you would attach the body on a Robert Drake if you've seen that video. An old fashioned method of doing that was initiated years ago by uh, Earl Madsen. So we'll get, a, we'll get a clump of this dark brown, maybe like that. You don't have to worry about if the tips are completely even or not, uh, unless you're totally into aesthetics. And then we'll attach it like this, giving us some space behind here to put in some hackle. And we'll just push that down a little bit so it covers the shank of the hook. And then take our thread in snug, but not real snug, spirals toward the back. We'll tighten it down a little bit here at the back end, and then spiral our thread back. And now we're going to uh, open up those spent wings like this. You can put the hackle underneath and then through maybe once or twice. And your spent wings are, are in place. It's hackled the same as Adam's with a, a one grizzly and one brown. So we're going to get those prepared and tie those in. Like so. And in front. And I wrap, you know, I'm, this is a, a cardinal sin rack, wrapping them both at once, but I've been doing it for many, many years. And in front a little bit in front once or twice and we can tie it off excess 
And then we're just about done, just a couple whip finishes at the head. And we may have an errant fiber or two that we can trim off. And an errant fiber or two back here that we can get rid of. And that completes the Rusty Spinner, a famous fly from a famous fly tire. So uh, I hope that helps. Uh, very nice fly, effective fly in all different sizes for early season. Thanks for watching.